bought live seafood in Laredo. Basically because you could never find it. But we had to buy them. They were really loud before, but we aren't hearing as many noises, so we're getting nervous because yeah, we want to transfer them. Oh. They're still moving. But oh, that one's definitely dead. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to put this in there. Okay. And then just let them move around. Yeah. You're definitely not supposed to cook the dead ones. Yeah. We have to rinse them and then the dead ones will float to the top. Mm hmm. Hopefully, there aren't too many dead ones. <laughs> help me. These guys are fighting. Yeah. Never really had crawfish. Like, we've had them before, but they were deep fried and they taste like nothing. Yeah. So I'm really excited. We're just gonna boil them with lots of lemon and hot peppers. We're gonna be eating these little buddies for dinner tonight. They look like there's enough to feed an army, but apparently you're supposed to have like three or four pounds per person. <laughs> they have good motor skills. Yeah, they wanna grab you when you stick your finger there. Yeah. They grabbed the lady at the grocery store today. And they're actually they're not too expensive. For six pounds it was thirteen dollars. We got our first taste of um killing like live Shellfish. Shellfish at Christmas when David had to slaughter some lobster. Yeah. So this is going to be our next level mass murder because all these crawfish are just supposed to feed the two of us. So we're supposed to soak these guys for three minutes with some salt and water and that'll clean them. <laughs> okay. I was hypnotized. And all the dead ones are supposed to rise to the surface. We don't want to do it any longer than three minutes or else we'll start to drown. Where's the dead one? I don't see one after all. Yeah, I don't think there's any dead one. I want to drain the water one more time. Let's just do that right now. This is our sickly cayenne plant. It has its uses. Well, it's really spicy. Okay. Yeah, they're small. But Once they dry out, they seem to lose their spice. It's, it's going to go in our crawfish boil. We had a bath. They're all very lively. I think they're pissed off. <laughs> but they will die soon. We thought that we'd be able to cook um, the crawfish <laughs> in this pot, but... But they didn't fit. <laughs> we didn't even try, but I don't know what we were thinking. So yeah. we, went, we just went out and bought this monster pot here. Our pot has come to a boil, and like, the fumes are fucking potent. We can't stop coughing. too much Tabasco in there. And peppers and <coughs> lemon and it's killing me. Okay, so David, go on for your scoop. This, I wonder if this will work. Get in here. Oh. We're about to commit murder. <laughs> well, that guy's holding on. It's actually anticlimactic. They just disappear into the murky depths. <gasps> They're fogging up. So now we're just letting it cook. Um, there's lots of differing times on the internet that you should be cooking crawfish. Hopefully we pick the right number. <laughs> <laughs> we tried to go for the middle of the pack. I think we're doing, what are we doing, 10 minutes boil? 10 minutes boil, 20 minutes to infuse. Okay. Off the TV. So, who knows? Experts out there might be saying that that's crazy, it's all wrong, but it's <laughs> fun, guys. We'll be fine. Yes. Yeah. Our crawfish are dead. <laughs> <laughs> They're all cooked. They're all cooked. That must be hot. Yeah. Ready to be drained and eatified. Let's do it. So the reason we're not saving this liquid is because it's like highly, highly seasoned and yeah. it probably also has their shit and so forth in it. Although next time, I would like, and nobody tells me to save it, but I almost think that we should have saved it. Part of me almost believes that. Keep going. So this is our crawfish feast. <laughs> this is what we were told in a two-person serving. Six, six pounds, right? Yeah. yeah.
like, it looks like it can like feed fucking people. like eight people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who. I guess we're in Texas. Yeah. We'll, we'll so you've got to eat like Texas. <laughs> <laughs> so show us your crawfish cracking technique. So show us what it looks like inside the head. Okay. It's like. It's kind of like just an empty cavity with some orangey stuff. Yeah. Which Sometimes some people it on say it tastes really good, but we yeah. tried it and it was nothing. And special. then to get it out, you just like pinch here. And it just pops right out. Yeah, and just pull it. Ta da! Easy. I'm about to eat one of the monster guys that are really aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> He's kind of the hot shot of the cooler back in the day. Um, so here we go. Oh, I just that was sprayed a juicy myself. One. <laughs> <laughs> you cracked it. Probably... You need to twist and This is like a pop. hard ass shell. I'm a little intimidated by his shit sack, so I'm gonna try and get the vein out. There's the tip of it. Uh, just we're squeeze just gonna the go tail with the rest. It. Yeah. You can see it if it's there when you squeeze it out. Mm. See, it's nice and big. Yeah, that's nice and meaty. Yum. After you eat a bunch of them in a row, it, it, you figure it out, I think. And it becomes easy and yeah. yeah, not so bad. It's like not as tedious as eating crap even, because you don't have these crackers. Or anything. Yeah, and it's really easy to take out the shit vein, actually. That one's full of some shit. Or blood, whatever. That's a vein of some sort, Yeah. and I don't want to eat it. <laughs> uh -huh. I don't know how we did it, but we took all of those crawfish down. <laughs> Yeah, they went surprisingly fast after. And I could actually go for another two pounds or I, so. I found the secret was to just like crack them like six or seven in a row and then eat those. Yeah, so you can feel like you were yeah. chewing rather than just swallowing. And then you go super fast. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we could eat. That was six pounds. We could definitely do eight pounds, I think. That's not eight pounds of meat, you know. <laughs> this just sounds funny. Tiny. They are tiny. Tiny and amazing.